you saw the light. Grand rising afternoon, evening, whenever you click on. Thank you for watching. I'm Beyond the Spectrum. Are you seeing this? Because, man, this just makes one feel right sized. You know what I'm saying? Just absolutely right sized. It's not normal. <laughs> it's like I constantly say the same shit. It's just weird to me. And I don't consciously say it. That's the weird part. It's like my soul says it. Like, this is not normal. The ancient ones are here. We are not alone. It's the same message because. I don't know, I guess I'm just a messenger. It's that simple to me. I'm just a messenger. A messenger of God. Times are changing. Nibiru is here. Wormwood is here. We are in Revelations. This is an amazing time to be here. I mean, look at this. All right, just just check this out. Just just check this out. Soak this in for a minute, okay? And don't please don't 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 tell me these clouds, okay? If you think that I am not the video for you, and just move on, okay? Thank you. Look at this. The triangle right there, right there, just in case you can't see it. That's high vibrational energy magnetic entering our three dimensional magnetic en energy as well. Look at this, an eye right here. Yep. See it? An eye like that with an eyeball. A people we're being watched we're not alone okay we're like freaking ants compared to what's coming in all right let's just give you a scale measuring we're like ants compared to what this is look at that's a being that's a huge being i'm gonna go with the dragon or well, whatever you see for you but i see a dragon and there's a, it's like got two eyes one there and one there and it's watching. Look at this. See how it curves right here? And then look at the curves right here. This is massive. These aren't just um, asteroids, okay? And I get it. If that's where you're at, that's cool. That's cool. That's where you're at. But this is more than that. This is way bigger. It is way more supernatural, esoteric. Than one can imagine. We're in Revelations. Revelations, okay. Let's talk about the Bible for a second. And, and I'm not a Bible thumper. I am not here to quote anything. I am here talking from my soul as divine being. Being a messenger of God. Create a source of all that is. Divine love, divine light. You're talking about a very high vibrational doesn't always mean um, a positive vibration okay you have duality vibrations in a multi-dimensional book put in a two-dimensional form to read in a three-dimensional way okay this is way bigger than that the son of God Okay, the son of God, the twin, all of it's connected. The son of God is literally a son, Ra, okay? This is so much bigger, and they switch names in there, and so much trickery and deceit, long and short of it. And I trust what my guides are telling me, which is Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Horus. That's who I talk, who I speak with, who I communicate with personally. There's a heart right there. Boom. 
That's probably one too, but I'm taking this one right here. Anyway, divine love, divine light. We come from divine love and divine light. Yeah, there is something else here with us that is not of divine love. And no, it is actually, because it all comes from divine love, divine light. It's just the um, form it's in. Okay, this is totally a, a being. I'm gonna just point this out how I see this. Okay, if you see, let me try to get it in frame. Whoops, sorry. Okay. That's like an eyebrow or, okay, of a, think of, of a, a dragon. This is an eye. Or an eagle, even. It could be an eagle, for all I know. Do you see it watching? Because I do. That's how I see stuff. I don't just see just a bunch of clouds there that they're just weird shaped. That's not how I see things. Alright, these are ancient. We have ancient energy here. Ancient beings here. That are high vibrational, magical, because magic's real, all right? Beings, supernatural, it's all supernatural. And we have been put to sleep for so long thinking that that doesn't really exist. Well, the majority of people don't believe it exists. I've always known it. And so don't a lot of paranormal investigators, things like that's why they do that. And, um, there are divine soldiers here, you know? Many, many. And we're all like kind of connected and finding each other because we understand that this is just not a bunch of clouds in the sky. And it's more than just uh, Planet X and Nibiru. It's Wormwood, the return of Wormwood. Okay, so Wormwood is our Messiah. That's why we're awakening to everything. That's the Messiah. The rising of a sun, get it? The rising of a sun, the crossing of a sun. This is way more esoteric than 3D that we've been made to, been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Programmed, okay? Um, and, and I'm just going with this. I don't even know where this is coming from, but I'm just going with it because that's what I do beyond the spectrum. Um, going back to the text, the carved ones and, you know, rock that stuff um the crossing of the sun so when anunnaki were here they're the fallen ones they're the nephilim and they have the ankh which is the breath of life of god creative source of all it is what we're all connected to no matter what level of vibration you are it's all connected there's no separation um and the higher dimensionals you get you understand that there is no low vibrationals that's only your duality. There is, okay, please. I end, I've experienced it, but I'm a, I also experience theta level, theta wave, theta, which is the divine. You're connected to the utmost high, okay? And that's energy. And the sun is an energy. And they shot at our Messiah, son of God. Because they needed the rib, which is in the Bible, which is RNA, and I, and which rib is short for RNA, to make us, to create the v original vessel, okay, the soul vessel, the container, okay, because that's what we are, you know, we are, we can break it all the way down scientifically, we're containers, we're beautiful, organic containers that, that whole, contain souls. Okay, to have an experience here. Many of us come in together as soul groups here. And this is here to remind, this is waking us up. This is, I feel many people are fearful in it, and I get it. Please, I understand. I, 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 I'm not saying I don't get afraid too, but my guides and my angels keep saying it's different than you understand in your three-dimensional world. And I get that. Just from the, what I've experienced and seen spiritually on my own journey and, and crossing over and being one with source, creator of all that is, out of this 3D body. To come back, I guess, to remind people of who you are. Okay, this is not normal. This, look at this thing. Look at this thing, okay? Look at, it's not a thing, it's beautiful. 
Whether it means it's harm or not, I don't know, but I see the beauty in it. Look at that, it's a ship right here, I'm telling you. It looks like the surface of a freaking planet. But it, it's a ship, look at it, there's an S right here. I mean, come on. Clouds don't do that. This is very dimensional right here. This is huge. It's an, a ship. Ancient stone. Ancient stone. Look at this. This is, I mean, it even has sails on it. You know what I mean? This is broken down into so many parts supernaturally. It's insane. I could just do a whole video on that alone, you know? This is way more supernatural. Prepare, okay? But don't be in fear. Please, don't fear. This is, just please don't fear. We have been asleep as a, we've been colonized, long and short of it. If we have an Area 51 for them, we're going to put it that way, because People understand stuff that way. If, okay, so if we have an Area 51 for um, the others, what do you think they have for us? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I got it all wrong, but this is not my normal thinking. This isn't. Only the past few years have I really awoken to this level of remembering that soul contracts, and I've known off and on, I've understood life just differently. Even though physical stuff hurts us emotionally, everything we came in knowing what was gonna happen. We're, and we're remembering that, and they don't want us to remember this because we must be really powerful. And I don't mean that ego. If you're seeing in that ego, then you're not understanding what I'm saying. It's not ego at all, that's the whole point. It's knowing you're a divine. You're connected with the divine, the utmost divine. No matter what this is coming in. Yeah, we live in like a war zone. We live in a level of hell. Absolutely. We are not free. We're not. That's the illusion. And this is here to tell us this. <laughs> That's what this is here for, you know? Don't fear. Trust and rely. Trust and rely on your higher self. All right? And, and you, the divine and the angels. Angels are real. Angels are real. Angels are real. As the wind kicks up. Angels are very, very, very real. They are right there with you right now. You just feel separated from them because that's the experience. The divine love and you are divine light. We are divine love. We are divine light. There, there is no separation. And I have to keep saying that to myself every day because this 3D uh, world, look at that, looks like a pumpkin, makes us feel that we are. And we're not. We're not, we're not, we're not separate. We're this, we're this, okay? We're not separate from that, even though it looks like it. We're not. Peace, love, and light.